All right, guys, I was thinking about something. I went and picked this up from my buddy Josh Burkhead today to edge test a custom AD-15. And he was saying how he, he really wants to know how it's going to do, but at the same time he doesn't. You know, he, he really wants to know how well the edge does, but if it, it does bad, he, he's not sure he really wants to know. So it really got me thinking. And I asked him one question. And before I asked that question... HCR 13... some more HCR 13 some other S35 VN AUS 8 M390 and we are getting to a point here D2 S90V S110V So back to Josh I know exactly where he's coming from You're testing a knife of yours you want it to do great because an EDU, EDC use it does great for you. You're also not, keep in mind, like I've said before, you're not using just one inch of blade. You're using the entire blade when you EDC. I asked him how many times he'd sharpened it. He said he's only put one edge on it. And I know he's had this for a while because I've... Every time I go down and see him, I, I handle this. He pretty much always has it on him. The edge is still pretty nice on it. I mean, he took it out of his pocket today. He was using it today. He dropped it a few times. So, what I asked him was, before I do the test, are you happy with, are you happy with how this knife performs right now? And he said, yes, absolutely. And that really got me thinking, does it really matter what a particular knife does in edge retention testing, if you're happy with it, and how it performs in EDC? I know for, for me it doesn't matter. I mean, this, this is AUS-8. I love this knife no reason that I won't use this knife whatsoever. I'm not big on 8CR13, but it, it won't keep me from using this. I mean, we'll use it around the house. My wife opened a bunch of Amazon packages with it just last week. You know, I don't have them out here, but M390. You know, my M390 PM2 and Para 3. Yeah, they don't hold an edge like S90V does, but it, it doesn't keep me from using them and enjoying them. In all this edge retention testing I do, don't lose sight of the fact that you are EDCing with the entire edge of the knife. And when you don't think it's where you want it to be anymore, you strop it, and it comes back really nice, and you continue using it. Now, I know plenty of people who, as soon as something isn't where they want it to be anymore, they'll go ahead and sharpen it again. Sometimes I do that, but I, I really try not to. What I'm getting at here 
is if you own any of the knives that I test, don't don't look at it as a bad thing that it, it did X number on fine edge and X number on working edge. If it'll strap back awesome, like that Berg Blade Slim S35. I think it only ended up doing 140 something feet working edge. But you know what? 10 passes on each side on a 1 micron strap, and that thing will shave the hair right off your arm again. Absolutely nothing wrong with any steel that you're happy with. So don't lose sight of that when you're watching my testing, or Steve's testing, or Tom Hosang's testing, even Pete's rope cutting. D don't lose sight of the fact that we only use a certain amount of blade. And doing dedicated cutting on a one-inch section of blade all at one time, it doesn't... That's not what you, you usually do in EDC. If you, if you do... I'm sure some people do. Most people don't, though. Don't lose sight that if you're happy with a knife, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it, no matter what steel it is, no matter what knife it is. Just be happy with your knife. Don't not like a knife because the results didn't come out and compare to whatever the latest steel is. If you like it, you like it. Just be happy with it. I know I am. That's something I had to realize early on in testing, and I probably should have made this video a long time ago. If you're happy with your stuff, be happy with it. I'm not upset with anything I have, from the lowest performing to the highest performing. I like every one of them for different reasons. Keep that in mind. If you guys have anything to add, drop it down below. I'd love to talk about it. As always, I appreciate your time, and thanks for watching.